This video is about multitasking on the Honor Magic V2. So on foldable smartphones, multitasking is a big thing because you guess if you have this huge canvas and you can use multiple apps side by side, in some cases also uh, more than two apps and every manufacturer handles multitasking in the software quite differently. And um, as I didn't find a lot of videos about multitasking in general or specific for the Magic V2, I thought let's do a video about this. I own this device since yesterday. I'm uh, right in the middle of the honeymoon phase with this smartphone. I really like it. And you might know if you have a new toy, you just can't keep your hands off it. And <laughs> that's what I did. I played around and explored all the features. And I have a pretty good idea how multitasking is implemented on the Honor Magic V2 and I didn't find a lot of videos about it. Most videos and reviews stay at the surface level and don't go into detail. Yeah, and ChatGPT was just interrupting me. Great. So um, didn't uh, don't go into detail and stay at the surface level and uh, that's why I thought let's do a video about this. Um, and without further ado, I'm going to show you how it works. Okay, let's go. So we're starting on the inner screen and let's just say you have Google Chrome in full screen open or any other app and you want to add a second app. You have different options to do this. First one is by a gesture. So you see this bar on top, you can click and hold it and then pull the app to the right side of the screen or to the left side of the screen. And when you let go, it will go into split screen mode and then on the other side, the opposing side of the screen, um, the app drawer will be opened and then you can, for example, open the second app like YouTube. And this will open in split screen mode. In this view, you can resize the split so that one app is larger than the other. Very easy. And that's it. And now let's see what the other option is to get into split screen view. You can just click the bar on top and then you can push the middle button and then it will go into split screen view and then you can add again another app. That's the second option. The third option is to use the action bar. So you you pull the action bar from the side, so you pull left or right and hold and then this action bar will be opened and then you can click and hold the app icon and pull it to one side of the screen and then we are also will be going into the split screen mode and of course you always have the option to resize them to your liking. If you now want to exchange one of the apps in split screen mode, you again have several options. So you can again use a gesture, click and hold the action, uh, the, the, the bar on top and pull the app down. Then it will be closed and again you have the app drawer and you can open the other app again. You can also click the bar and push the middle button again and then you can open another app. And another option is again to use the action bar click and hold, pull it to the side where you want to have the app opened, like this, and um, you have it now exchanged. When you now have two apps side by side in a vertical split, you can also click in the middle here on these three dots and say let's do horizontal split and horizontal split is especially useful when you want to uh, watch media on one half of the screen and do other things on the other half. And you also, of course, can exchange them and uh, shuffle them around and you can also resize them however you like. If you want to go back into vertical split, you can just do it. And you are again back into vertical flip and also can shuffle them around. And this is basic multitasking with two apps side by side and I think having a lot of options to open split screen mode and to exchange apps 
is very good because you don't have to remember one or the other or perhaps you like just just more than clicking um, screen on screen elements so I like that then there's the concept of floating windows so there are several options to launch a floating window the first is again the sidebar when you now just click the app it will open as a floating window and you can move this floating window around freely and you can also close it another option is to use the opened apps view when you click this icon on the right side again you will get a floating window the third option is to use a gesture you can push uh, you can click and pull the bar down and uh, there will, will be also an animation that shows that you will get a floating window let's do it again like this and you can also use the bar on top and just click it and now you have the rightmost icon you can click and then you will have a floating window so several options to launch these windows you can also open floating windows on top of other apps so let's say you have YouTube open then you can pull and hold and open a floating window and you have the window on top of the other app so it doesn't matter if you um, have an app open or not even if you are in split screen view so let's open split screen view and let's let's uh, oops that didn't work like this and now you want to open a floating window on top for example reddit then you have it on top and can again move it freely where you want it to be there are several things you can do with floating windows let's open chrome as a floating window so as i already said you can move them around freely you can also resize them make them smaller then they will attach to the four corners of the screen sorry let's do it again right when you click on the small floating window it will be resized again and you can also move them out of the way by just pulling them to the side of the screen and then you will get this small handle that is hidden and also gets a little bit darker and when you click on the handle the app will appear again and you can also pull it to the other side of the screen um, these are all gesture based but you can also use the bar again click it and do the minimize thing to to minimize it and you can also pull the floating window in one of the in one of the corners of the screen and then you will um, get this animation and say um, attach a floating window what you can also do uh, from a floating window is to pull it down like this and then it will open in a split screen view and the split screen view is possible either like this so in a horizontal orientation or it can be opened in a vertical orientation like this and this also works when you have split screen view enabled for that let's go into split screen view and now let's say you have another app as a floating window you can move it and then you can for example move it to the right side let go and then you exchanged the floating window with a normal split screen view and there is more to floating windows so you can not only open one floating window but you can open multiple floating windows so we're opening chrome and now chrome will be a floating window on top of the split screen view and we also can open another app and in the action bar you have the more button so you can open another app like for example audible now you have two floating windows and you can do all the things i um, described before now what's special 
if you want to open a third floating window, for that let's just for example open X. What now happens is the first floating window you opened is being replaced, but it's not lost, it, it will be minimized to the handle here, right? And you can now switch them through. You have two visible and the other one is in this handle. And this is very fluid and very, very cool to switch floating windows around. We have three. Now let's open a fourth one. Let's open the Kindle app, for example. Now what happens? Kindle opened and the other app got minimized. And now you get this kind of multitasking, taskbar, whatever it, it is called. And all your floating windows are inside of this bar. From there, you can just click and open another, um, the other floating window. And the other one will be, again, um, stored in this sidebar that you can close. Now we can open even another floating window. For example, uh, doesn't matter, Spotify. So, and it, it's always the same, two are visible and the other one um, will be in the sidebar. You can now minimize all floating windows. So every one of your floating windows is in the sidebar. And from there you can, for example, uh, pull one out by just clicking on it. And from there you can also, again, like I said, replace the split screen view or you can leave it in the middle to have it again as a floating window. So as you can see, there are really a lot of options to multitask on the Honor Magic V2. Um, and there are more options than than just use two apps side by side. And especially this floating window concept I find quite useful because most of the times I don't need three apps or four apps on this small screen, right? Two are more than enough. And in my use case, for example, I watch a video and browse in Chrome and then I need to open WhatsApp or the Messages app for a short amount of time because I got a notification. And when this happens, I just can open the app in a floating window, see what's going on and either close it or if I want to continue using it, for example, if I'm in a conversation in WhatsApp, for example, I can just minimize it and get back to it whenever I need to. And I think that's actually a very clever way of multitasking and I, I quite like it. Last but not least, you can also multitask on the front screen. Let me just focus again. So you can have two apps side by side on the front screen also, but there is no vertical split, only horizontal uh, split. And that, uh, I mean, that makes sense, right? because the screen real estate and you also can launch floating windows on the front screen that's the same as in um, the inner screen and you can also push them to the side though the, the same functions as on the inner screen but without vertical split of two apps. So as you can see Multitasking on the Honor Magic V2 is actually quite powerful and I really like it. And at least at the moment, I don't miss a lot of features and I quite enjoy multitasking on the Honor Magic V2. And that's it. That's how multitasking is implemented on the Honor Magic V2. I hope this video was interesting for you. Let's discuss in the comments how you think multitasking is working on the Magic V2 and how it compares, for example, to the Pixel Fold or the OnePlus Open or to the Z Fold 5 from Samsung. Um, I think multitasking in general is really great on the device. There's no reason to stay away from the phone just because uh, the multitasking is not as feature rich as in case of OnePlus or Samsung. I'm really happy with it, uh, but yeah, 
What's your opinion? Write it in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you in my next videos. Until then, take care and bye.